I'm so glad that you are participating in this introduction video to meditation. Meditation is something that has been transformative for me personally. For many years as a therapist, I learned about the countless benefits of mindfulness practices, including meditation, and I didn't listen. I didn't listen until I was exhausted and depleted and completely burnt out. At the time, my children were young. I was very busy with my business and overworking, burning the candle at both ends. And I finally signed up for a mindfulness meditation class at my local yoga studio. And it changed my life. We studied the work of John Kabat-Zinn, who is considered to be the founding father of modern mindfulness. And really mindfulness is about bringing your attention to the present moment. A lot of us spend much of our time either second guessing or ruminating about the past or worrying about the uncertainty of the future when peace can be found in the present moment. And across thousands of cultures and thousands of years, the breath is believed to tie together the mind, the body, and the spirit. And by connecting with our breath, we bring our awareness internal. So often we're in our heads, we're listening to our mind chatter, and meditation is a time to look inside ourselves, connect with our bodies, with our senses, and the wisdom of our bodies. Feelings are like waves of energy that we hold in our bodies. I've noticed that if I'm fortunate enough to have a massage, that as the massage therapist works on different parts of my body, tension will be released and all my mind will go to different places. And that's because trauma and feelings and energy are held in the body. And meditation practices are a way of healing any negative energy that we're holding in our minds, bodies, spirits, and really connecting with that deeper self. I have meditations as part of this program because I don't want this just to be intellectual for you. I want you to embody the concepts and the practices that you're learning, mind, body, and spirit. So my hope and intention is that you will find meditation to be a reboot. That's just how I experience it. It's like how our computers need to be rebooted because they're on overload. When we take time to pause, we're like operating systems too. We get overloaded and meditation is a way to shut down some of those windows and you really can't do it wrong. Some people think that meditation is about thinking about nothing and it's not really about that. It's a practice. It's learning to focus on your breath, connect with your body, have a moment of stillness and begin to learn to observe and notice your thoughts and develop awareness of your feelings so that you can respond consciously rather than react emotionally. It also helps us tap into our deeper intuition and wisdom that's held with inside the body. And so the way that I practice I enjoy guided meditations. I always recommend apps like Calm and Headspace. There's many mindfulness apps that are wonderful. I also do Peloton and as part of their app, they have a meditation portion that has guided meditations for everything from needing courage to you know, um, promoting sleep, whatever it is that you might need, even prepping yourself for a good workout. So I use meditation as a way to manage stress and anxiety, and also to pr promote equanimity or mental calmness. And I use it at different points throughout the day. I notice that I often get stress headaches around 3 p.m. So it's good for me to take a little mini break from work or whatever it is that I'm doing in the mid afternoon to have a mindfulness practice. And in the meditations for this e-course, I'm going to be sitting in my office chair because we can practice meditation while we're at work. So I'm sitting in an office chair. If you are too, 
it's just important that your feet can touch the floor because part of meditation is becoming grounded and anchored and rooted. So we don't want your feet to be dangling. You can also sit in easy pose or a lotus pose that is traditionally used for, for seated meditations. And if you do so, make yourself comfortable with a yoga mat, with bolsters or pillows or blankets. I also personally really love to meditate in Shavasana. So laying on my yoga mat. And they say that if you have your hands facing upward, it is a act of receiving. So if you're welcoming whatever it is that you're receiving, whether it's love or joy or prosperity. So you can leave your hands open. Sometimes when I'm feeling overloaded, I find it healing to place my hands downward and kind of feel more anchored to the earth. So whatever works for you, and you can take whatever time that you have for your meditations, the meditations in this course vary in time because they're not scripted. I'm going off the cuff from my gut. And so, you know, you can stay in a longer meditation if that suits you and you can build up even taking a minute to focus on your breath and your body, your senses is healing. And you can build up to a five minute, 10 minute, even 20 minute practice, whatever you find beneficial. And if you have distracting thoughts pop up in your head, that's completely normal. We're human. I think as long as we are doing our best to direct our attention to the breath and to the words that I'm sharing with you today, that's going to facilitate calm and relaxation. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Again, if you're seated, seating in a chair like myself, you'll want to have your feet grounded. So nice and flat against the earth and then feel your seat nice and secure and grounded on your seat and you want to relax your shoulders. So when we're stressed out, we tend to bunch them up toward our ears. So you want to consciously bring them back and down. So again, back and down. And even doing that, you might realize how much tension you're holding in your shoulders. We want to sit nice and tall. The spine is nice and tall. It, as if someone were pulling a cord at, from the top of your head and pulling your head upward, like a ballet dancer or something. So you're sitting, sitting nice and tall with, with your back, shoulders back and relaxed. And your hands, I'd like them to be relaxed in your lap. So just on your knees, feeling relaxed. And during meditations, you have the choice of either closing your eyes, which I'll be doing for most of these meditations, or if you don't feel safe or comfortable closing your eyes completely, you can have a soft gaze down your nose and just kind of fuzz out your, your vision, if you know what I mean. Just kind of relax your eyes and allow yourself to go internal. So again, I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes after I begin our beautiful meditation music. So I'm going to start the music and guide us through a simple practice. So simply notice how you're feeling inside. Bring your awareness to your breath. Just notice how you're breathing. Is it shallow? Is it deep? No judgment, no criticism, just notice. Your breathing is a normal response to what you've been experiencing today. Now I'm inviting you to deepen it. Breathe deeply through your nose. You might even exhale audibly out of your mouth. <sighs> Breathe. 
releasing any tension that you're holding. Breathing in nice and deep through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. feels comfortable to you, you can be begin doing your exhales through your nose as well. I like to breathe in and out kind of to the rhythm of the music. as you breathe in, feel your belly fill with air and puff outward. This is how we should be breathing. Expanding our bellies. And expanding our breath. I like to think about it as if you have a balloon inside your belly. Think about your breathing as being three-dimensional. That as you're breathing in, you are filling that balloon and even filling your back body. And as you breathe in, imagine that you're breathing in whatever it is that you need. Maybe that's hope or love, peace, courage, strength. And you're breathing out what is no longer serving you. Any yuck, any tension, anything that is not yours to carry. We've all been through so much in the past few years. I want you to honor what you've been through. Placing your hand on your heart and thanking yourself for getting yourself here. And thanking yourself for beginning this program. Giving yourself appreciation and gratitude for taking care of yourself in this meaningful way. Filling your heart with air that's filled with love and hope and dreams. And again, breathing out, maybe what you're caring for others, what you've been holding for them, that's no longer yours to carry. You can bring your hands back to your knees, feeling your, their heaviness against your knees. And gently do a body scan Noticing how you feel from the top of your head, through your eyes and face, through your throat, your heart, your gut, your seat, your root, your legs, and your feet. Breathing that cleansing breath throughout your body. 
And as you exhale, imagine that everything that's no longer serving you is being released and just melting into the earth. Mother Earth is holding you and is holding that energy for you. You no longer need to carry it. Taking a few more nice, deep, cleansing breaths. I'd like you, you to set an intention for this e-course, for this practice. And imagine what it is that you would like to bring into your life. Maybe it's more support more self-love, more financial peace and prosperity, improved work-life balance. And I'd like you to imagine yourself having achieved that at the end of this course. You have worked so hard and you are blossoming into your greatest and highest self, both personally and professionally. Thank yourself for a job well done, expressing love and gratitude for this journey and for yourself. Noticing how you feel in your mind and in your body after taking a few moments for yourself. And remembering you can come back to this feeling. Gently moving your fingers and toes, you can start to open your eyes and bring yourself back to the room. Thank you so much for doing that practice with me. I'm really hopeful and excited for you about this program. I hope that it inspires you and heals you and touches you and brings many blessings to your life. You deserve it. That's why I'm here for you. So thank you for beginning this meditation practice and I look forward to seeing you in the other meditations throughout this program. Be well.